Hey there, people! Welcome back to Fortune Fast Laner. Are you guys familiar with Steinway and the pianos they built? Ring a bell? Did you know that Heinrich Engelhard Steinway built his first piano in the kitchen of his home in Season, Germany in 1836? It is usually called the kitchen piano. That piano is exhibited at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And over the next decade, Heinrich built 482 pianos. How cool is that? Now, we have the latest news regarding Steinway. Steinway has actually filed to go public. Make sure to subscribe if you want more of this content. Steinway Musical Instruments Holding Incorporated, founded in New York City by a German immigrant, has filed to go public through an IPO. The company plans to launch an IPO, according to a recent filing with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Investment firm Paulson & Co. acquired the piano maker in 2013, which has attracted takeover interest over the years, including a $1 billion offer from state-owned company China Polygroup Corp. in 2018. Proceeds of the offering will go to selling shareholders, including Paulson, who will control more than half of the company's voting power after the listing. The prospectus showed this. Henry E. Steinway immigrated to America from Germany in 1850 because he was pursuing to perfect the art of piano building. Three years later, the company was founded in New York City. Steinway is one of the oldest companies still in operation today. They've manufactured their pianos in the same factory in Astoria, Queens since 1870 and make them by hand using more than 12,000 individual parts. Steinway has been creating exceptional pianos for decades, with a focus on sustainability and quality. The pianos come in a variety of colors and are beautifully designed. Steinway & Sons is one of the world's best-known brands, but it also has a long history. The company's 130 patented innovations allow the brand to build more advanced pianos with greater quality and control over sound. Pianos have been an iconic piece of American culture and in almost all households for decades. Steinway & Sons was founded by Heinrich Engelhard Steinway. He had been building stringed instruments before founding the company. He established his own piano workshop in Season, a town he was born in. It was on 1825 that he made this move. However, since it was only permitted to repair musical instruments at the workshop and nothing more. In 1850, Heinrich Engelhard Steinway and his family emigrated to the U.S. On March 5, 1853, Steinway & Sons was founded in the Varick Street of Manhattan on the west side, manufacturing square grand pianos. The Steins realized the benefits of changing their name in 1853. In 1853, the family decided to Americanize their name from Steinway. The company's first piano, number 483, was sold for $500 to the Griswold family in New York. It is now displayed at the Metropolitan Museum of Arts in New York City. The luxury goods market has not been impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, as sales grew in 2021 to $538 million and net income increased by 14% to $59 million. With the addition of company-owned retail stores, Steinway Piano has seen significant increase in sales and profitability. Sales rose by 15% this year versus the five-digit range for last year's results. Celebrity names still count when it comes to music. Steinway coolly boasts the customers of their include both the biggest stars and icons, such as Ahmad Jamal, Billy Joel, and Lang Lang. Steinway's instruments are being used by artists on the biggest stages. After five years of working with Steinway & Sons, Ben Steiner became CEO in September 2021. 
Currently, he is speaking to Penta about the history and future of Steinway Industries. According to Ben Steinway, he has been at Steinway for five years. He was the CEO and CFO and now promoted to CEO. But prior to being part of Steinway, he worked at Paulson & Co. Steinway's parent company and was closely associated with the ascension of the company in 2013. More essentially, he has been aware of Steinway since childhood and has always recognized the history and dedication of the company to class above everything else. Steinway has been a leading innovator of acoustic pianos for generations. The best ones are still being made, and the company is also at the forefront of digital technology with Spirio. It's piano player app that allows you to listen to Steinway's world-class tone anywhere in the world by connecting it directly to an iPad. Steinway gets to see the production process firsthand, and I was surprised by some of the technology that Steinway employs. In some ways, the old school technologies used in woodworking seem ancient in comparison to the cutting edge pieces that are found throughout the process. Though on closer inspection, many of those tools are designed with accuracy and musicality in mind. Steinway strives to use technology where it makes sense while staying focused on creating instruments that sound great. The answer to why Steinway piano makers continuously innovate is because we maintain a constant movement from past into the future. By innovating more and more, using the end product of perfection as an example, pianists will eventually stop creating equally as effective and efficient sounds. Steinway as a piano company that has been in business since 1853 and explains how they developed one of the earliest grand pianos. Building the single-piece soundboard of the piano helped develop improvements in other areas as well. While using a single piece of wood to produce grand pianos instead of the standard two allowed for higher string tension and required a stronger case. This was a big step forward in the manufacturing of modern grand pianos. It allowed for a richer, more powerful piano. Steinway reveals how the completion of this grand piano was without doubt one of the most significant moments of Heinrich Engelhard Steinway's life. This grand instrument laid the foundation for his later renown. Steinway, known for making the finest harps and pianos, built more than 100,000 pianos over the next decade. In 1902, Steinway surpassed 100,000 pianos. This special model was given to the U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt. Steinway recreated this historic model in 2008 and it's now part of their legendary heritage collection. By 1854, just a year after Steinway & Sons was founded, the company was able to produce two pianos per week, with total sales for the year at 74 pianos. Within two years, the musical notes were sold, from 74 just two years before in 1854. In 1857, a Steinway piano had lavishly carved cases and legs. This was believed to be the first ever Steinway piano with an art case. In 1859, Henry Steinway Jr. was granted patent number 26532 for the overstung plate, which creates a unique sound that modifies the longer bass strings with the shorter treble and middle strings. Henry Engelhardt Steinway founded the company in a Manhattan ad loft in 1853. Its factories are located in Astoria and Hamburg, Germany. The price of its grand piano ranged from $60,000 to $340. Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated, Bank of America Corp. and Barclays PLC are leading the venture financing with Steinway slated to list on the New York Stock Exchange. 
Steinway and Sons places the utmost importance on conserving energy, natural resources, and minimizes negative impacts to the environment while also prioritizing their suppliers and manufacturing processes. Steinway's wood sources come from FSC-certified lumber suppliers that prioritize responsible forest management practices. Our suppliers partner with responsibly managed forests and harvest the perfect wood grades to build our new panels with. At age 80 or older, the trees are harvested to leave space for younger trees to grow. What is the definition of luxury? Ben Steinway does not think it is to save space and increase profitability. Steinway has sacrificed quality by making their pianos so affordable. Instead, what Steinway has realized is that in order to meet the worldwide demand for piano manufacturing with the highest standard of quality, they would need to invest in something much more costly than the average planks of wood and bolts of metal. The kitchen piano, as it was lovingly named by the Steinway factory watchman, who had heard how elusive this grand piano was in Philadelphia, is right now a part of the Long Island collection. The replica went on display in 2006 at the Concert de Beau in Bruges after Chris Main studied and reproduced it in intricate detail from an original house at the Steinway factory in Long Island. Steinway cheapest piano sold for $275 in 1859. In 1863, Henry Steinway became a U.S. citizen. In 1866, Steinway & Sons opened its first Steinway Hall, which had an auditorium of 2,000 seats. In 1867, William Steinway estimated that 90% of American piano output was square pianos, 5% were uprights and 5% were grand pianos. He also characterized that grand sales were scarce as angels' visits. Steinway became the first American manufacturer to win the Grand Gold Medal of Honor at the Paris Piano Exhibition on the same year. William purchased the Steinway Mansion, a property on Long Island Sound that overlooks Bowery Bay. The estate was owned by Benjamin T. Pike Mack Jr., who owned an optical company and sold it to William for $127,500. When the Steinway Mansion was recently put up for sale in 2011, no one was brave enough to buy it. Henry Engelhardt Steinway, founder of Steinway & Sons, passed away at 70 years old in 1871. In 1871, Steinway sold more than 2,553 pianos. Before then, they were making less than one piano a day. William Steinway, a renowned 1872 American piano company, attracted the selective refined pianist Anton Rubinstein during their tour of America by offering him a hefty paycheck. 215 concerts over 223 days with an exclusive engagement to play strings from Steinway. The highly anticipated performance eventually led to his first famous legacy and ultimate career. In 1883, the piano maker A. Boas built a model number 54538 for the British painter Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema. In 1884, the top of the piano was sent to London to have inlaid paintings and color by the noted Victorian artist. It would be auctioned for $8,000 in 1903, and then returned to New York City before being sold at auction in 1980 for $36,000. This piano then went on loan to the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. In the year 1884, the first modern Steinway concert grand piano was created in New York City on January 31, 1894. C.F. Theodore Steinway won a patent for their salient features and is thought that he designed the piano himself. In 1888, 
Theodore Steinway enters an agreement with Gottlieb Daimler to manufacture parts for the American Mercedes automobile and the engines as well as marine engines. This arrangement lasted at least until 1906. In 1891, the Carnage Musical Hall opened its doors in New York City. The hall seated 3,000 with 1,000 more seats available in the center and lowered brown leather tabernacle seating with accommodated 2,500 more people. 1892, Pat Erwerski signed on again to play 60 concerts, proving to be a profitable partnership. On December 23, 1892, Christmas Eve, William says that sales reached a total of 30 pianos. As an IPO powerhouse with a long and storied history, the latest news about Steinway's transformation is for piano lovers everywhere. Steinway plans on raising $267 million in its coming initial public offering, but don't fret if you're not one of those private investors. This article will explain everything you need to know to get caught up right now. The Steinway is an iconic piano brand that has been one of the most popular instruments in the world for decades. The Steinways have been used by performers like Yo-Yo Ma, Bobby McFerrin, Richard Kleiderman, and was even played in Carnage Halls in Agro Concert. The IPO prospectus on the NYSE intends to have listings in the form of shares, in the expected share price of $11.38. For many, the name connotes culture and prestige, a reputation strengthened by occasional artistic masterpieces unveiled by the company. In 1938, it gifted its 300,000th piano to the White House, with gold leaf decals illustrating the music of indigenous America and three carved bald eagles as its legs. In 2010, it produced a Fibonacci inspired design with an idol placed into it 600,000th piano in order of its then current production a record. Unlike Steinway, which has been historically known for production innovation, the company became more widely recognized in recent years. In the past few years, they spearheaded a technological innovation with the development of Spirio Piano. This regular piano is just like any other except that it connects to a tablet which cues a library of music. In 2021, these pianos represented nearly three-quarters of Steinway's sales. It was even able to announce its new feature, which emulates live streaming performances from other speakers around the world, transmitting musical signals to nearby pianos across Earth. Steinway Piano notes that the Steinway Piano was the instrument of choice for approximately 97% of concert pianists when performing with orchestras across the globe during the 2018-2019 concert season. Last season before the pandemic. This statement was backed by all concert pianists who all owned their own stringed instruments with a 29% market share, according to a recent Business Insider article. Steinway crossed $538 million in sales last year, with $59 million in profit, and is expecting significant growth in China, which is now the world's largest piano market. Steinway is currently owned by a billionaire named John Paulson. In 2018, the Chinese state-owned China Poly Group made a $1 billion bid to buy Steinway but was turned down. Over its 169-year history, Steinway has been forged on and has pushed the boundaries of its credo to build the best piano possible as detailed in their initial SEC filing in 2018. The Chinese government offered $1 billion to purchase Copymatic in 2018, but the company turned down the offer and continued to focus on global growth. If the company does reach a valuation of $1 billion, 
Paulson will own half of the voting power. Steinway believes that the quality of its products is unparalleled and many of the biggest musical grades personally use it. From famous pop artists and stars to world-renowned violinists, pianists, and jazz legends, Steinway has built a name for itself by providing musicians with instruments that capture their sound best. The company have factories in operation in Hamburg, Germany, and Astoria. Steinway's grand pianos range in cost from $60,000 to $340. Steinway found success and recuperating from the worst than expected year of 2020 with a 14.4% rise in revenue and a 30% increase in sales in 2021. The latest data from Steinway shows that the worldwide piano market is at its highest level in years. The data set indicates that the USA has an average of 30,000 pianos alone over a span of 4 years. And that's it for this video, Fortune Fastlaner. Remember to subscribe to our channel. And if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!